As you know, we purchase all the wallets we buy. Our reviews are never bought. Now, the Lost Dutchman Big Fin has been around for quite some time, and we've reviewed the Finnegan and the Big Fin, so it's its big brother here. I think it's time to get into this one. We have a cotton bag, which we receive uh, all of Lost Dutchman's wallets in. This is a very, it's just, it, this is a well-balanced wallet. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is the sweet spot in the line of the Finnegan's, or the fins that we have. You can see it's got uh, uh, great sewing that goes on here that's uh, very typical of, of Nate's work. There we go, finally into, come on. Focus there. Large flap. Look at this. This has been sitting in my inventory for so long that I need to apply some some uh, leather moisturizer to this, some balm, so I can uh, help rehydrate it a bit. And we get into here. Looks like we have Nate. Loving Nate and what he provides. Again, love the capacity. I love that this. This uh, uh, internal leather pieces here, they float. They're not sewn on either side. We'll just talk about that briefly. Anyway, this is a wonderful wallet and can't wait to get into it. So we look at this wallet, nothing here in the front. We flip it over and we saw this. This is a quick access card slot right here. You can get uh, one to two cards in here, perfect. Every wallet should have a quick access card slot. We come to the front, we have this flap. This flap uh, provides some good security, but when we get immediately into it, we see we have two card slots one and two right here and the capacity on this is about six cards each and then on the back here we have another card or really a cash slot here this handles a capacity of around eight notes and can be used for additional cards if you like that or you want to keep a combination you can also do that as well that's a quick review of the features the lost dutchman big fin now it measures 3.8 by 3.3 by 0.6 and it weighs 51 grams 1.9 ounces So I got six cards, 10 slips of cash. The larger notes, uh, the larger uh, euros, for example, and yen, they just don't work very well. I think a minimalist carry option is four cards. Six is reasonable. The company says up to 12 cards plus folded cash. Now you noticed in there I had cash folded once and also as a wrap. I think the wrap version, version works really, really well. Now this is how it fits into your pocket. Not too bad, pretty easy to work with. Now Nate Walker, the owner and maker has his whole act together, honestly. At such a young age, his designs are simple but elegant, and his approach to customer service is really excellent. And when you're talking about quality, this is designed and made in the United States. It is a full grain veg tanned leather from Wicked and Craig Tannery. It's a saddle stitched as well for longevity, and it's uh, just fantastic. And this glazed harness leather will really patina up nicely. It's priced for $75. Now this wallet by far is my favorite of the of the fin line that Lost Dutchman has, and probably of all their wallets. Really brings capacity, quick access, ease of use, security, and currency support, seriously. I really like the generous flap that it has here right in the front, mainly because it keeps it all secure and all together. I mean, again, because we have this quick access slot on the outside, boy, uh, this, this flap is fine with me to get into additional cards or cash. And so let's look at this, uh, this cash wrap situation again. Oops, see, that might be a reason why. Let's grab the other cash that's sitting in here a bit. Okay, there we go. Let's put this uh, up together. There we go. I think a cash wrap is great, especially if you use a lot of cash. You just put your cash in there like that. This all folds over, and it does fold under the flap just fine. Doesn't really look bad, and when you need your cash, there you go. Nice. And as I mentioned, the flexibility of the dividers in here this is really important. You can see we have the these two leather pieces that divide the cards and the cash. 
If you look at these carefully, you can see that uh, both of them, they do not have any attachment to either side. It's a, it's a fold that comes down from the bottom here. And this is awesome because if you put a lot of cards in the front, then of course it takes up, it provides capacity. Put a lot of uh, cash in the back, it'll fill out. Of course, it'll take capacity at the expense of cards, but at least you have this flexibility and it's not requiring you or limiting you in the slots you have. So love this wallet. Now let's get out of the final score. For quality of five, price of three, features of four, usability of five. There we go. I think this is an excellent wallet and perception of five. That gives us a excellent score, 44 out of 50. Thanks for joining us. Look at the other wallets we have, especially the other fins. We will have the thin fin coming up and then I'm going to pull them all together. We'll see you in the next review.